A tale of a man preparing to visit Yevle, Sweden to see their famous goat. Annyeong Haseo and welcome to Awful Advent, a countdown of 13 holiday horror movies for the 13 days before Christmas. This year's theme is Scary Santas and our 10th film is somewhere between a remake of and homage to the most famous Santa slasher. It's 2012 Silent Night. A killer dressed as Santa Claus is stalking a small town. It should be easy for the town's rookie cop to find him, but it's the night of the annual Santa Claus parade. Silent Night is a fairly by-the-number slasher. An anonymous killer is attacking people in a down-on-its-luck town. The police have no lack of suspects since the town's desperate straits mean anyone could reasonably be behind the killings. After being presented with a few red herrings, someone relates an urban legend of a killer that turns out to be true. Big showdown, revelation, sequel bait, the end. What sets the movie apart is its connection to the Silent Night Deadly Night franchise. The movie is a remake of the 1984 original, however the screenwriter never saw those films, so you could, as I did my first time through, not recognize the connection until a ways in. There are nods to the first two movies, a catatonic grandfather waking up to provide a warning about Santa, a recreation of the famous antler death scene, and naturally, garbage day. But they're just nods and could be dismissed as in-jokes for horror-savvy viewers. From the perspective of it being a remake, though, I like this approach. If you're going to repeat an idea from an old movie, focus on the idea rather than a beat-for-beat -beat repetition of the original movie. Plus, shifting the point-of-view character to a police officer lets the movie become, somewhat successfully in its middle third, a nice little thriller. However, that's about the only praise I can give it. One of the things I said undermined the campy pleasures of the original Silent Night, Deadly Night for me was the sexualization of the women's deaths, and this movie leans into that, affecting even more of a leering quality. And there's no reprieve from that perspective. Everyone in the town is degenerate in some way or another, from the mayor's porn star daughter, to a venal priest, even to a child knocking her mother's heart medication to the floor. One reading the movie would like you to have is that Santa is actively passing judgment, deciding who is naughty or nice, but the murders are too brutal, and there's not only no rewarding of the nice, there's no nice to reward whatsoever. Twice during the movie, an itinerant Santa launches into a disenchanted rant about what Christmas really is, and I think the movie means it sincerely. I'm a remake of Silent Night, Deadly Night, and I'm going to lay some truths on you, man. Worse than not being fun, this movie about a killer Santa Claus is self-righteous. It's not a good time on its own terms, and not visually interesting enough to play in the background at a solstice party, so it's not something I'd recommend to anyone. Two out of five knife-wielding naughty Saint Nicks. Tomorrow, another movie that tries to tell you the forgotten truth about Santa. Until then, stay safe and stay spooky.